Doon ang dagat dito maganda. Magandang tanawin. There's a lot of beach here. And there are many people comes in that beautiful beach. Maraming nagbabakasyon dito. Pero ngayon, malaki ang pinagbago. Tingnan nyo naman ang mga bahay namin na wala nang dahil sa bagyo. How was the day? Look at the ship. The ship is now in the land. Pero noon, ang barko para lamang sa dagat. Simula nang dumating ang bagyong Yolanda. Super Typhoon comes. Maraming nagbago. Simula nang dumating ang Bagyong Yolanda. There's a lot of things. Gone and lost. Noon, masaya ang mga tao dito. May mga hanap buhay. Walang walang iniindang problema ang mga tao dito. Pero ngayon, lahat nagbago. Nawalan kami ng kabuhayan. Nawalan kami ng pamilya. Nawalan ng tahanan. Lahat nawala sa amin. intensity. As early as November 3rd, this was looking to Taklavan City, home to over two. This is the inside was bound to bring death and destruction. Such a sustained Mogdori of Typhoon Haiyan. Their people attempt to deal with the immediate aftermath of the typhoon, the analysis. Now the typhoon plays its most deadly card from those who felt its arms. Rising sea levels play a key part. It's why the storm surge was so deadly. As the oceans warm, they expand and make for a rising sea level. It's on the scale of a tsunami. Years So the vulnerability of our coastal communities. That's going over the islands, and what happens when it gets back over the warm South China Sea? Right, so it's a threat to Vietnam. It's, it's a threat to Vietnam. If sea level is one or two feet higher than the years, so the vulnerability of our coastal communities, not our traditional storms, is only going to get. Everyone was heading for safety. And where was that during a storm where winds sweep? 
curator. Taklaban city on Lete Island bore the brunt. Ecliptic landscape. Noon, uh, noon panahon na hindi pa dumadating yung bagyo. Uh, yung mga tao dito masaya. Masaya, maraming pwedeng puntahan dito sa Tacloban. Maraming pasyalan, maraming paliguan. There are so many houses to build here in Atacloban. Pero nung dumating yung bagyong Yolanda, when the typhoon comes, uh, when we hear the signal first, we don't know what we are doing, we got scared. Signal number four. We felt uh, afraid and lahat uh, ng mga tao ay kinabahan sa <coughs> narinig na balita. So nung dahil doon, yung ibang mga tao nakapaganda. You get ready to go to the evacuation center, but the other people cannot because they are hard head, hard headed, and everything destroyed. Lat na sira, bahay namin. Kabuhayan namin. Kita namin kung paano dumating dito. Ah, malakas ang hangin. Hindi namin nakikita ang aming paligid. 
hindi namin alam kung ano nga ang gagawin. Pero habang nananalanta yung bagyong Yolanda, nananalangin kami sa Panginoon na wala sanang mangyari sa pamilya namin at uh, sa amin mismo. Maraming nagbago simula nang dumating ang Bagyong Yolanda. Sabi ko nga, so that's why our community, our houses will destroy, gone. Hanap buhay namin na wala, mga bahay namin na wala, nawasak lahat. Pati pamilya namin, ako nawala na ako ng dalawang pamangkin. Pero hindi namin lahat yung sinisisi sa Panginoon. Alam namin na may purpose ang Panginoon kung bakit nangyarang lahat ng ito. Uh, hindi, hindi bibigay ng Panginoon ng ganitong tredya kung hindi namin kaya. We will fight for our life. We can build this house so that my family have a house. Para hindi naman kami, hindi naman magkasakit yung mga anak namin. Balang araw, pabalik din ng kabuhayan ng takloban. Ito kami, tulong-tulong kami ngayon. Ang tatay ko, kapatid ko, ang anak ko. Masaya kami kahit pagyuhan. It's okay. Because this is the part of our life. It's okay that uh, we are few of uh, we are uh, lack of lumber, but it's okay. We just find it, and we found it. I know they had people. para makatulong na makabangong kami ulit. Para pagpatuloy namin ang aming buhay at uh, makapaghanap buhay kami ulit ng uh, sagana.